With the upcoming release of Twin Mirrors by Don't Not Entertainment, you know, the team that bought us Life is Strange, just around the corner, I couldn't help but think back on just how many interactive drama games we've had now. To the surprise of absolutely nobody, this led me to drafting a list of my all-time favourites in this genre. Given my love for this type of narrative focused game, it goes without saying that my hype level for Twin Mirrors is building to silly levels as we roll closer and closer to release on December 1st on PS4, Xbox One and PC. If you're as excited as I am, then make sure you keep an eye right here on our Respawn in UK channel for more on Twin Mirrors content coming very soon. Right, let's not waste any more time, let's jump into my top 6 interactive drama games of all time. Remember as always, to let me know your list in the comments below or by getting in touch over on our Twitter at Respawning UK. It really hurt coming back. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? I need to know what happened last night. Number 6. Detroit Become Human Spoiler alert here, but Detroit Become Human likely won't be the last entry into this list from developer Quantic Dream. There's a strong argument to be made that the French studio is responsible for the surge of interactive dramas we've seen over the last decade, and their latest entry was nearly this sort of game at its best. This stunningly beautiful look at a futuristic world where human-like AI machines have become slaves to the human race after gaining self-awareness was maybe a difficult story to tell, but I personally felt it worked really well. Although this stereotypical tale of artificial intelligence rising up against their makers has been told many times before, it was a nice change of pace to be put in the shoes of the actual AI. Number 5. Life is Strange The first part of Don't Nod Entertainment's previous project before moving on to Twin Mirrors, Life is Strange is undeniably the most down-to-earth story told out of all the games on this list. There's no larger than life protagonist or epic cinematic set pieces, rather we play as Maxine Caulfield, an 18 year old teenager who is equally awkward as she is passionate. If you fancy something different, then check this out, you won't regret it. Number 4. Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope The most recent release in this list, Little Hope came creeping into my life this past Halloween with all the spooky ghost story goodness we have come to expect from Supermassive Games. Little Hope acted as a second entry into the Dark Pictures Anthology, a collection of short horror stories being released on a yearly basis. With a stronger story, brilliant voice acting across the board and a much better use of the game's secret collectibles, Little Hope managed to surpass the first instalment of the series, Man and Madame. Although Little Hope is one of my favourite horrors of the year, it still didn't quite live up to Supermassive Games' first outing in this genre, and funnily enough, that game's up next. Number 3. Until Dawn I feel like I've spoken about Until Dawn a hell of a lot on this channel, so I'm going to be quick with this one in fear of sounding like a broken record. On the surface, Until Dawn could easily be mistaken for a poor man's horror game with its cheesy dialogue and stereotypical teen movie characters. However, it's the game's Scream-esque inspired horror slasher vibes that makes Until Dawn stand out from the pack. Unlike every other interactive drama out there, Until Dawn is the only one that doesn't take itself too seriously, and trying to kill off as many of these wannabe survivors as possible, as quickly as possible, can become half the fun. Having said that, the game still tells a great story with incredible visuals which makes you want to get a few characters to the end just to see how it all unfolds. It says a lot about how great this game is, that every release Supermassive Games has put out since is forever compared to this fun classic. Number 2. Telltale Games Walking Dead Season 1 Speaking of game studios who started strong, Telltale's first breakthrough in what became a huge collection of famous IPs from Batman to Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead Season 1 set the standards so high that they arguably never got anywhere near those storytelling heights in the years that followed, before the studio sadly closed their doors, well kind of, in 2018. The relationship that builds up over the season between Lee and the younger girl he takes into his care Clementine can easily be talked about in the same breath as famous video game duos such as Joel and Ellie and Kratos and Atreus. 
The season's climax was nothing short of devastating and brought many adult gamers to tears whether they choose to admit it or not. In my opinion, Telltale managed to tell the best Walking Dead story across all platforms, including the original comics and the TV show as far as I'm concerned. Telltale may never have lived up to those high standards again, but the achievement should never be forgotten. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar than fast. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. Number 1. Heavy Rain The game that is more than likely responsible for this very list being possible, Heavy Rain was the trendsetter that showed developers that this interactive drama idea could work and work well. Heavy Rain, however, wasn't Quantic Dream's first crack at this new style of gameplay. In 2004, they released Fahrenheit, or Indigo Prophecy if you live in North America. Although I enjoyed their initial effort, it wasn't without its issues. So my expectations for 2010's Heavy Rain wasn't overly high. What we got though was a brilliant story with decisions made by the player that actually affected the direction of the story and a newly introduced mechanic where if a playable character dies, that's it. No reload or restarts. It's game over. It's an idea which at the time seemed crazy but is now a mainstay in pretty much every game mentioned in this list. In fact, you can look at pretty much every interactive drama that has come out in the last decade and draw direct comparisons to what is still David Cage's best out in today. It may not have aged gracefully, but without Heavy Rain, we don't have this list of games. It was a true game changer in every sense of the word and deserves its place on the top of this list. Jason! 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 Thank you for watching. Do you agree with my list? Probably not, most people don't. If you do, or if you don't, just let me know your list in the comments below, or hit me up at Twitter at RespawnantUK. And if you've liked this video, make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. We've had a lot go up lately, including the latest Lightning Cave, where Hav explains to us why he's not getting a PS5 and he doesn't care, Luke's reviews for the likes of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Yakuza 7, as well as the Bears Den that you get every week, and much, much more. So make sure you subscribe for that. Also, remember to check out the website, respawning.co.uk. Once again, thanks for watching. I've been Mikey, and I'll catch you next time.